Sakaya Blaney. I'm 10 years old. I live in North Vancouver, BC, and I'm from the Slime Nation. Shut the waters I can't see. Your clear waves lapping at my feet. The lifeless ocean, black, not blue. I didn't help, but deep down I knew. Shallow waters I used to see. Dolphins playing in front of me. The seaweed sway. My name is Takaya Blaney. I am 10 years old. I'm Canadian First Nations. I am a singer, songwriter, actress, and environmentalist. I'm a champion for We Canada, an environmental organization helping Canadians influence their leaders to take a strong stand at Earth Summit 2012 in Rio de Janeiro. I hope to travel there to speak on Indigenous youth protecting their lands and culture against unsustainable development. I'm a voice of the earth because the earth is crying for help. I dream for a brighter future. It's my vision to close access to BC's coast for oil super tankers. I want to see native traditional lands and culture protected from unsustainable industries such as mining and oil. On a recent trip to Indonesia for Tanza UN Children and Youth Conference, my eyes were really opened to see the other children with that same passion for the environment. Earth is our planet, the only one we have, and I don't want it trashed and polluted. <coughs> there is a pipeline proposal by the Emmerich Corporation threatening to pass through pristine wilderness threatening to pass through First Nations territory, jeopardizing First Nations culture, which has been here since time immemorial. I wanted to do something about this proposal because I care about the environment. In result, I wrote an environmental song called Shallow Waters. It's about a future where an oil spill happens, a possibility if the Northern Gateway Pipeline is approved. We have to change ourselves, the consumers, as we are in the eye of the oil industries. In the developing world of today, oil can be found in virtually everything, from plastic to fabric and skateboards to cars. Oil fuels not only just the vehicles, but the rapidly increasing industry. Oil has become not just a source of energy, but a ravenous, consuming ruler of the modern world. Oil is urgently in demand, however, does not have an unlimited supply. Nations struggle to be supplied with oil as it is imported internationally and super tankers are long snake-like pipelines. Our generation is undoubtedly drunk on oil. <laughs> it's as if we consume more oil than water. Truth is, the more we mine for oil, the more we destroy and intoxicate our most valuable resources such as air, water, land, and natural foods. When I first started, I wrote a song called Shallow Waters. And the song, because um, I was first interested in otters. So, you know, I was learning about, you know, how they're affected by oil and everything like that. And then, I, um, there was this newspaper or article in the news about this pipeline and I was really concerned because they would be passing through the First Nations territories and everything like that so that's how it started and then it just grew to me really caring about this environment. Um, and I also wrote another environmental song called Earth Revolution. To the many oil and mining companies who are proposing to destroy First Nations territory, I remind you of this. 
you are proposing to destroy our only hope of reclaiming our culture, land, and traditions. You are proposing to put at risk our only you are proposing to put at risk our only earth and the well-being of future generations. Those industries who now mine and develop earth won't be here forever. They will one day have to hand down the land to the children for the younger generations will be the ones to inherit the land one day when we'll grow up. And what will they give us? A polluted, desolate land? My culture is important to me. I come from the Slime Nation, a community about 800 people. I was influenced to become an environmentalist by my kukba, my grandfather in Slime. I know that most of the things in our culture we are unable to practice because there's not enough fish and animals and the land is too polluted now. But back then, a long time ago, our people wouldn't <coughs> trade the land for anything. But sadly, our land doesn't mean that much to the current generations. Our land and culture, which we have had for thousands of years, will be destroyed, all for the sake of money. I am a musician. In the words of my new song, Earth Revolution, stop waiting till tomorrow, stop living yesterday, because there won't be tomorrow if we don't change today. Earth Revolution is a song that I co-wrote. It's about environmental movements, about the children of today standing up for the children of the future. It's about how we need to change ourselves, the way we live and the things we buy. We've rephrased our word need with greed as we continuously consume, meanwhile destroying ecosystems and shattering communities. From a distance, still got a million miles to go, making a difference. The only trophy I want to hold, the state of the nation, is poison from pollution, greed, and war. We know we have solutions But actions speak louder than words Oh, stop waiting till tomorrow mm, Stop living yesterday Cause there won't be tomorrow Oh, if we don't change today We're generation now, children of the future Earth's revolution Creation's crying out, I feel her pain, I can't walk away. I'll do my part to fix what's broken, get back what we're taking. Hope for the dawn of a new day, calling out to each and every person. Join me in Earth Revolution. Go the distance We are a million voices strong Facing resistance But there's a choice between right and wrong Oh, stop waiting till tomorrow Stop living yesterday Cause there won't be tomorrow Oh, if we don't change today We're 
generation now, children of the future, Earth's revolution. Creation's crying out, I feel the pain, I can't walk away. I'll do my part to fix what's broken, give back what we're taking. Hope for the dawn of a new day, calling out to each and every person, join me in Earth Revolution. I've walked this great land, it used to be beautiful, it used to be home. I've seen the rivers run, join out communities have no hope. Where are the tall ancient trees, they replace them with their concrete dreams. We gotta turn this around. We can fix it right now. We're generation now. Children of the future. Earth's revolution. Creation's crying out. I feel her pain. I can't walk away. broken give back what we're taking hope for the dawn of a new day calling out to each and every person join me in earth revolution i'm calling out to every generation join me in earth revolution Please, please take responsibility, children and children at heart. Join peaceful protests, help out in environmental organizations. For you have a voice, be heard. You have a gift, share it. Thank you. <laughs>